What's up, guys? Robert Walkney of CoinOp TV. I'm playing some DX Human Revolution um, on the PS3 medium difficulty. Uh, just, uh, I think this is kind of like the second mission, I guess. Um, and uh, Seraph just sort of said, "Go down and find out what's up with the corpse." So that's that's where I'm leaving, leaving things off. Although the arrow says to go this way. I'm looking at the uh, the map down the bottom left. Maybe maybe it means to go outside. Some some games have a really cool um, way of telling you like if you need to go down a level or up or down with with kind of their arrow. So far everything's been kind of on the, the same plane. Oh man, I got to push the uh, elevator again. <laughs> in the future. In the future, you go in an elevator and then, you know, it should close behind you. You shouldn't have to push it. What is it waiting for? Oh, I'm getting, I'm getting like, paged. Report to my office. Where is my office? The security guy? I don't know if I've been to my office before. Oh, let's see. It's blue, and it's at the top of the screen. Does that mean upstairs? Downstairs. Can't tell. Oh, there's an X in front of me. Alright. Objectives activated. Objectives activation. The objective screen details your current missions and objectives. In here, you can find extra information that may help you better understand what needs to be done. Yes. Let's go to Detroit City. Loading screen. Um, so guys, uh, you know, as you can see, it's like my first time out on this game and uh, still kind of getting a feel for things and I'm just uh, talking and talking and talking away just to, um, you know, kind of share the experience with you. This is the first time I'm doing a commentary track for a game. Uh, Mrs. Reed? Oh, oh, Mrs. Reed. I'm sorry, you startled me. And please, call me Cassandra. You and Megan were together long enough. I was waiting for you. Are you here? Why not come meet me inside? I don't know. I guess I'm just not ready. This is where you work, but to me, it's also the place where I lost my daughter. Alright, it's the first time I'm meeting uh, Cassandra here. I don't really know a thing about her. Uh, I know what you mean. Let's see. Let's be sympathetic. I know what you mean. Let's open the door. It's never been the same for me. I am. I am. I guess it's not meant to be easy. It seems I'm, there's just I'm no right way to deal calmly. with something like this. And I can't even begin to imagine how things have been for you after all you've been through. That's yeah. right. So she she knows Love something about me. She knows I got all jacked up. How much they've changed you. I'm getting after augmented. I couldn't even believe you were still alive. How do you handle all? Uh, let's see. Well, you know, I'm, I'm going by the, uh, I'm going by the, I'm not really into the augmentations thing. They say they saved me, but so they're, 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 they're trying to turn me into the Bionic Man, which sounds cool for gameplay, but, uh, you know, on the humanistic side, I'm, I'm having some hesitation. Can I ask why you wanted to see me? Yes, of nope. course. There's a, there's a question that I didn't trigger. <laughs> I'm here about Megan. About what happened to her. Or rather, about the investigation into what happened. I think Megan oh was God. a chick in the uh, beginning that got jacked up. I feel something is not quite right with the way the case was handled. Maybe she's still alive. She's maybe maybe Megan's uh, Call it gonna be augmented intuition. and I'm gonna find her. But when speaking to some of the investigators, there were a lot of Can't look around or anything, I'm locked in then this camera. This detective, a man called Chase. He agreed things weren't handled by the book. Although he has no proof. And now you wanna find out more. I'll never hear my doctor die. Oh, it's a lot of epic I'll never get a call from her Epic dialogue. Or have the chance to ask a little too much for my day. taste. Especially, I can't even do anything. I can't even However, ask any questions now. Place. Move the camera around. I still want to know why it happened. You're not the same, Adam. And we've yet to see if it's for better or worse. But I, oh, know I, I know you loved, loved Megan. Megan. Alright. 
Will you help me find out what really happened? Apparently I loved Megan. Yes, let's accept. I never got a chance to investigate the attack myself. I'll look into it. Thank you. This means the world to me, Adam. Give me a hug. Give me a hug, Cassandra. Good. He works part time as a security guard in an apartment building on Brooklyn Court. I'll be waiting for you. Brooklyn Court. My hometown, Brooklyn, New York. Oh, he retired soon after the case. I don't really know the details. Maybe he'll tell you more. I'm on it. I'm on it. There's a chick there drinking some, uh, drinking some stuff. Oh, she's hanging out. She's got like a dude. She's on a little bench date. All right. There's a saving part there. So let me let me cut this. This is uh, part 16. Guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. Hit the like button for Coin TV. It's Robert Walkner. Uh, we'll pick things up in uh, part 17.